All right, so now we're going to be looking at how to lay out an imposition based upon a known product size. And in the last video, we discovered that the printer margin is 0.25. We just threw that number out. All right, now let's take and uh, grab a product. So we're going to use a rectangle here. And in this case, I want to take it and put it in the extreme 0.25 corner. So now it's 0.25 by 0.25 right directly in the corner. Then I'll take the height, and I know the height of this product to be 4, for example, and I know the width to be 2, for example. How many 2x4s will fit across this page? Well, let's take it and let's visually problem solve it. Let's not use math. Fight that. I know no teacher is going to tell you that, but te I, I'm, I'm telling you, fight it. To visually problem solve is very important. Okay, let's take a rectangle. And here is multiple duplicate. I physically feel that four or five of these fit across a sheet of paper. And just to be safe, I'll just go five by five. All right. Well, how many fit across the sheet of paper? Let's delete any ones that are going over the margin. And I got all these down here. And by the way, if you have these down here, you'll notice that you have to use Alt and Control every once in a while or they'll disappear. So if they disappear, they're still there. And you can use Alt and Control to wheel mouse in and out to uh, regain them back. It might be a PC issue. So right now I can fit eight products onto this sheet of paper. Or let's try the other way. What if I take the shape and change it to four by two? Okay, let's take that into it. Let's go into multiple duplicate by row and column. Let's say number of column at least three. And maybe this one would be six just to be safe. Okay, zoom out. Delete any one that might be outside the box. Okay, in this case, I, I was able to fit more products onto the sheet of paper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sweet. So this is clearly a better layout than having it the other way. And that's how you visually problem solve it. Use shape. You know shape. If math is hard for you, use shape. If math is easy, use math. But you could... Somebody will tell you uh, in education to say, you have to use math in order to solve this. And that's not true. Because actually, in real life, we don't do that. So that's why I'm saying fight it. Just because somebody said it isn't true. It's only until you discover what the truth is, and that's what's true to you. For the given second you need it. <laughs> All right, so now that's how you visually problem solve. So let's move on to the next video.